Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for June 1st of 2024 is titled Stereo Helene. So what do we see here? Well, this is one of the small moons of Saturn. And in fact, one of the many small moons of Saturn, as Saturn has a great number of moons. Now, it's not very large, about 30 kilometers along any around any side in diameter. And while it is not an especially large moon, it does orbit in an interesting point. It's actually considered what they call a Trojan moon. And that orbits at what, we, what is called a Lagrange point in the orbit. Now a Lagrange point occurs when two massive objects is sort of where their gravities balance and there's a gravitationally stable well that occurs. And that means that something that falls into this well or moves into this well would have a hard time getting out. So something like an, a, a moon like this, a small moon, ends up in a gravitational well and in that case between Saturn itself and one of the larger moons known as Dione and that those two will then have a point where their gravity kind of balances and makes this well in space where as an object comes into it it takes a lot of energy to get it out so it's not like a black hole where something is permanently trapped but it's not easy for something to get out it takes a good amount of energy to break out of that space and that makes it a useful stable point now this occurs also around Jupiter. Jupiter has Trojan asteroids that are at stable points between the Sun and Jupiter. And they orbit either 60 degrees ahead of Jupiter in its orbit or 60 degrees behind. So they orbit exactly like Jupiter and with the same period and they just lead Jupiter or trail Jupiter. Well, here Helene does the same thing around Saturn. It is in a gravitationally stable point. Now, there's also others. There is other moons that actually follow in other Lagrange points around Saturn. So it's not an unusual thing. Now, if this moon image looks a little unusual with the blues and reds, that's because it's actually a 3D image taken by a couple of pictures taken by the Cassini spacecraft back in 2011. And if you have red and blue 3D glasses, you can use those to see this in three dimensions. So taking those two slightly different perspectives allows us to put together a stereo image to be able to see it in 3D. And that gives you kind of a better idea of what this moon looks like. Now it's interesting, it's not it does have a number of craters on it, but it also has some unusual structures as well. So it's not just a very heavily cratered body, which is tends to be what you expect with a much smaller object, we don't expect them to be active and have anything like any kind of weathering or any kind of geological features that would wipe out craters. So interesting that we see not a large number of craters on this, although you can see a few as you look around the image. So that was our picture of the day for June 1st of 2024. It was titled Stereo Helene. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be both sides of Earth's moon. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.